Hey, I'm Shadow Knight Paladin and welcome back to my channel. Today's another speed paint, but it's gonna be a bit shorter than usual. It's at 6 minutes 35 seconds. And as you can see, we didn't start from the sketch layer. We started, we just dived into coloring. This is a commission by my best friend and she asked me to draw a lot of outfits for a lot of characters and this is one of them. So, as you can see, it's, well, you really can't see it that much yet, but it's a rugged, hunter-type themed outfit for a rugged, cool, sporty girl. Right now, we are working on the accessories. This on the second layer. Uh, the first layer is the main clothes, this being the shirt, the boots, the pants. And then we have the base, which is the character without any clothes on. Or these clothes on. They have a bit of stuff on them. You know, privacy-wise. So we are working on shadows and highlights, making things shiny, which is my favorite part. I really like her dagger. I really like the color that I used here. It has, it's a nice luminescent-ish color. And my coloring style here is a bit different from when I uploaded the Nareed underwater character designing. This is mainly because I changed my coloring style a bit. I used to use a bit of a watercolory ish method, and this one, which turns out better, is an oil painting type method. So, what is the difference? The watercolor style relies on layering a base color leaving out some white for your highlights or a lighter color then adding shadows as you go along and the white parts are your highlights basically with oil paint it's start with shadows add your base color later on and then add the highlights and this really turned out better for my for my style of digital I, I don't know why it just did it adds more definition to the entire piece so we are working on the third layer, the cloak, right now. And the sketch was existing from an earlier session. So we are just lining and we will be coloring this in later. So the color palette for the cloak was a bit tricky. Being that I used blues and greens and a bit of warm brown on the boots. I didn't know what to match the cloak with. Should I go dark and brownish and warm? Or should I go a dark cool color like blue or green? So I had to go, I had to cycle through several color combinations before I got what I wanted. You can see that I'm drawing this a bit weirdly or lining it a bit weirdly. This because I want my PSD files to be interactive, especially with clothes designs. How do you mean interactive, you ask? This is being that when they hide or show certain folders. It's been aptly named set one, set two. They can add or subtract certain clothing. So for the third layer, this is the cloak layer. They can hide that and they can see all the details of the second and first layer without having to second guess what's on them. And this also kind of lessens my workload. I don't have to draw the character several times just to show the different layers. I just have to draw over and avoid certain areas. So now we are going to start the really painful part of finding the right color. I ended up with this dark green for now. I thought this was going to be the right color, but it was too dark and it didn't really match with the boots. The boots felt out of place. So I turned it into a mauve, an old rose, and I settled with this green, which is a very darkish teal, I guess. I'm not really sure what color this is. It's a blue-greenish color. It really matched well with everything. So I ended up with that. And when you see me doing the here, the shadows, 
I really felt this with the new calling style really showed its true potential. This because the it everything became more defined without relying on lines to make it stand out. Especially when I add in the highlights later, everything's very viv not really vivid but very defined. Which is what I wanted. The next thing I wanna learn is how to use ambient lighting. But I'll I'll learn that eventually I think. stream and I hope you enjoyed. You can ask me any questions if you want. Alright, uh, follow me on DeviantArt, Tumblr, and Instagram. I keep on forgetting. Follow me! Or I'm not forcing you but it would be nice, you know? So, see you around!